So I'm giving you like a daily vlog because you have to know how everything happens on a day-to-day -day basis with how my body responds to the overall environment and when I go out or when I stay home, what would I be experiencing the next day? So I think I went out on Saturday and hung out with my husband, gained some boat marine parts, and then we went to uh, Swenson's drive-in and had a hamburger and fries and whatever, and that was fun. And then yesterday we went shopping like at Walmart to get food and stuff like that. And that's when I had that weird experience of seeing some weird aberrant, aberrant activity in the universe. And so today I feel tired. Like this morning, I, well, my dog felt something last night, overnight. And I know she's dealing with an evolutionary upgrade that she's feeling very worn down and very tired from. And so, um, so there's definitely new variants in the environment. Um, no, I'm not vaccinated, just so you know. I'm actually pretty, pretty healthy. All of the different symptoms that you experience, if you've ever been exposed to any virus, is based upon your predispositions. So since I've reversed all my predispositions, the only thing that I experience when I get exposed to a new variant of COVID is I feel tired. And I always say this, you know, if I do go out on a Monday or hang with people, you know, if I do go out on, on a Saturday or Sunday, hang with people on Saturday and Sunday, and then come Monday, I'm usually recovering because of the new variants in the environment. Now, it's not like a bad recovery, it's just the fact that my body has to now evolve to a new level of the environment, and it goes through it process, its processes, and the next day, usually either the Tuesday or the Wednesday, I'm pretty much fine. That's how things are going to happen if I do go out on a weekend. See, my husband going out and coming back, not a big deal. It's when I go out because even though he's exposed to everything out there under the sun because he's in different neighborhoods doing his job, um, I see him every night, but it doesn't affect me the same way as if I hadn't gone out, if, if, if I had gone out there. I mean, and so, yes, yeah, so now they're opening up society. There are people out there that do not want to get vaccinated, and I understand that. Oh, believe me, I understand that. But here's the thing. It's not going to matter whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated. If you don't have what it takes to handle the, the, the new microbiome <laughs> that is constantly changing, holy shit. Okay, like I already see people on my Facebook. You know, they, they had, they had get-togethers, birthday parties and whatever, and you know, now the person is dealing with a predisposition, okay? And so, you know, what's going to happen or why some people don't really feel this or understand this is because they're still under the holistic world. They're still taking their remedies to suppress their evolution. So they think everything is wonderful. Oh, they have a, a pain. All they do is take a little pill or a powder to supplement. They're like, oh, I'm great. I'm great. It's not going to affect me. I don't understand why everybody's hot. It's just the flu. It's just the flu. And those deniers are still using the same um, detoxes, the same painkillers that they would use anyways if they were exposed to the flu. But see, what's happening is you're actually actively degrading your body at an exponential level. So as much as you want to deny the COVID or deny any virus and think it's all vaccine related, yeah, you can still be under that impression, but it's not going to matter your belief system because you're still actively degrading. You're still actively destroying your body with all of your remedies. If you're not doing J-juice, you are actively um, inducing entropy. Hey, Jeff, if you're not doing J-juice, you're actively triggering all of your predispositions. And then when you go to the hospital, get all of your operations you are actually experiencing a law of diminishing returns because you're not adding to your body. You're taking away. Every single time you practice anything in the holistic allopathic market, reacting to symptoms, regardless of where you think it came from. I don't care if you don't believe in the virus. I don't care if you think it's the flu. I don't care what you call a virus or what it calls sickness. If you're not actively doing J-juice, you are taking part in the law of diminishing returns. Because again, you are aging and degrading and it's going to accelerate as the atmosphere heats up, not only with the grid, but with more of the viral variants. 
So when you when when they open up society, people are like, oh yeah, don't wear a mask and and don't get your vaccine, which it is not gonna matter either way. Um, and, and and go hang out with all your friends and family, and then you get exposed to a new variant like I've been exposed, but I just get tired. Some of you who have cancer, disease, and chronic illness and other types of predispositions are going to see an uptick in everything that you've ever experienced that you went to the doctor for. And then you'll think, oh God, it's my it. You think it's just something that's naturally going to happen because that's what's, that's what's in your genetics. That's what God gave you. It's now your time. No, it's called the fact that you have, you know, that you're experiencing acceleration in your entropy. Maybe prior to the COVID, you had, you wouldn't have experienced your predispositions. But the COVID accelerated what was already inevitable. So you actually have been aged faster since the COVID's been, been, been released since people have mutated the COVID, since the vaccines have been put out there, which, hey, they're not bad. They're just taking what already is there and they keep shape-shifting into different variants to where then you still feel the symptoms. And so, you know, I can only just, you know, say stuff for so long, but I want to tell you what I've been experiencing and on the J, just reversing my issues and feeling the evolution in my environment. Now, my dog feels the evolution too, but... She's going to survive it. Yeah, she feels tired. Yeah, she feels a little bit weird sometimes. Yeah, she may have a few um, episodes of the body trying to evolve. And I keep supporting her evolution with food, with my protocol, with the, um, the sugar and the maple syrup that I add into my recipe. And she survives it. She has very, she's not a behavior problem. She is very well adjusted. She is, you know, very calm, cool, and collected. She doesn't run away from me. I don't have to worry about her at all whatsoever. I just got to make sure that she survives every single uptick of evolution that she is being exposed to because how aggressive the environment is. So that's why, you know, I'm going to just cut down and maybe once or twice a month maybe go out because I got to get my book done. It sucks having to recover every time I go out. <laughs> You know, and, and have to rest from another evolution. But at least I'm evolving. I'm going to stay alive. And I'm not, I'm not aging. I'm not aging. I'm not degrading. I don't have any, you know, any, any uh, chronic illness or chronic pain. My energy levels are amazing when I'm not, like, actively evolving like this. And, you know, that's why my protocol exists. To counter all of what's going on. So if you're a kind of person who wants to politicize the virus, you want to politicize anything out there, and you're not actively replenishing, then what's happening then is you're going to keep um, wasting your energy on things that are not going to give you a return on your investment. Yes, you will be experiencing the law of diminishing returns. And that's what the holistic allopathic industry you know, does, because people think that that they think that their lifespan is only like maybe 70 or 80 years. So if, if, if you have an evolution that maybe using more resources than you're able to provide at the time, like cancer disease and chronic illness, you think that getting that procedure is going to buy you time. If, you know, it's like taking one step forward and 10 steps back every single time you take part in the medical holistic industry. And so, you know, at some point we're going to have to now re-examine what life is. We're going to have to reevaluate what pain is. And maybe you don't have to die. Maybe you don't have to accept that that is the inevitable. But until you can actually even consider that as a possibility, then yes, you will have an accelerated death process. And every single time you take part in the industries out there, it's going to just make things worse. So, but I wanted to give you like my daily log of what's going on. So that way, you know that I feel the evolution, but I'm not going to die from it. Many of you out there that are practicing the holistic allopathic, not actively replenishing your body, mind, and spirit and actually keeping the energy. Well, it's going to be a crapshoot every single time you go out there. And I'm telling you, once they open up society, whether it's in California, whether it's in Ohio, whether it's anywhere. And you think that the world is still normal, that there is nothing different about what's going on. And you think the vaccines and they're and I'm saying, oh, yeah, if you're vaccinated, then you can go out and hang out with all your friends and family and you don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to wear, you don't have to social distance. 
I'm telling you, as soon as you get hit with a variant that you're not familiar with, that surge of energy is going to kick somebody's ass who is not prepared for it. Because we're all bioelectric. Everything is electric. If you, if you go down my timeline and you see exactly what I'm talking about as far as electricity, energy, thermodynamics, the first law, the second law, um, Newton's first law, second law, third law of motion. If you don't bring in physics to your biochemistry, then all you're doing is basically you're just living on borrowed time. Because at any point in time you go out there and hang with a bunch of people, that action potential, that energy, as well as any vir variant or virus out there is going to kick your ass. And some will not recover. And they will you know, be passed to the point of any return. So, that's all i got to say. I'm not trying to be a doomsdayer. I want to, if you're alive, you have the chance to reverse your issues as long as you're able to face the pain. As long as you're able to face the pain. And you can if you actually understand the science behind the jelly juice and behind your own biochemistry. The reason why you have to go to get your operations and go get all your different protocols is because you have not maintained your body well because you were never taught that. You were taught to support de-evolution, but you were never taught to support your evolution. And the de-evolution is when you're taking away things from your body, when you're getting nips and tucks and stents and screws and all these things that are now minusing your life force. They are taking away your life force. And yeah, I mean, you know, you see, look at Stephen Hawking. He can live on basically just a brain. The rest of his body's atrophied. But the only way he can communicate is through a voice box. So yeah, you can be like, you know, completely like quadriplegic and only have your brain be the thing that's that's running. And as long as you're not brain dead, then you can stay alive and you can communicate. You can stay alive. But is that the quality of life you want? Is that what you're looking forward to is watching your body waste away to where the one leg, the two leg, the second leg, the third leg, whatever, your arm, your leg, whatever, you know, watching your body just fall apart every single day? That's not how I want to end up or look forward to. That's shorting a stock. When you're trying to buy a stock that basically lost its value. Not 100%, but it, it decreases in value. I'm going for the long game. Not the, not the short game. I want to buy low and sell high. I'm not trying to buy high and sell low, but that's exactly what people do to their bodies when they take part in the holistic allopathic market. They short the shit out of themselves because they don't know their own value because they've given their value to somebody else to determine your value. And that's why people, you know, don't make it in this world for very long. Or they make a shit ton of money as you're young and getting older. And then they find out that they won't be around to enjoy all the money they made the last 40, 50 years. So I want you guys to keep your longevity. I want you to keep your intelligence. I want you to keep a bright future. Because there's no reason to look forward to retirement, okay? There's no reason to, to look forward to watching your body fall apart before your very eyes until you're basically a brain in a wheelchair. And if you're lucky enough, you have a voice box so you can actually communicate your needs. Who wants to end up like that? Certainly not I. Have a good day.